four sides. So, ang quadrata, you have four sides. Ang first, which you call the square. Square has, so, for the visualize, you have a square. The A, the length of side is A. So, the, ang, uh, the lengths of the sides are equal. So, the area of the square is, you have the A squared. So, A squared. So, you multiply lang natin yung kanyang length or is square yung length that is the area of the square so you have four sides na equal so second you have a rectangle so rectangle so two sides you have parallel i mean all the sides you have two pair of sides that are parallel so you have this and you have this but the length are not equal. So, A is not equal to B. So, the area is A times B. So we also have what we call the rhombus. So, the rhombus, you have equal sides. But you don't have a 90 degrees. No 90 degree angle. But the sides are equal. So you have this height and you have the length of the base so the area is given by base times height so if the diagonals are given so you have the diagonals say so d1 is given d sub 2 is given so the area is given by you have one half times the two diagonals okay so also if you have a rhombus which is an angle given so given yung angle natin and dalawang uh, yung side so the sides are equal so ang pagka pagkakaiba niya sa square is that wala siyang angle 90 degrees so ang area if you have an angle na given so pwede natin maderive yan using uh, trigonometry so, if you have this height that is base times height, the height here is, you have A sine theta here, the opposite side. So, this opposite side is A sine of theta. So, therefore, A sine theta times A, yung area niya is, you have A squared sine of the angle theta. So, you have also the parallelogram. So, a parallelogram. As two pairs of sides that are parallel. So you have the area, let's say for example, this is the base, this is the height. So basically, a square, a rectangle, you have the rhombus, they are all parallelogram. So here in a parallelogram, you have the area, base times height. Let's say you have the diagonals, you just, the area is equal to 1 half times D1, D2 times sine of the angle. So, you have the two diagonals given. So, the angle between those diagonals, let's say D1 and D2. So, you have this formula for the area. But it is, the side is given the height, you have this formula. Then if your included side is given, say you have been given a side, say this is A, say this is side B, then you have the area, A, B, sine, theta. For the next figure, we have the trapezoid. 5, we have the trapezoid. So, the trapezoid, you have two sides that are parallel. So, one pair lang ang parallel side. So, you have we have, for example, you have this, the base, top base, the shorter, the longer base, and you have the height. So, the formula for finding the area is equal to one half, you have base, top, and lower base. I-add lang natin 
Then you multiply sa height. So, this is the formula for area of a trapezoid. So, the next is what we call the trapezium. So, ano ba yung trapezium? So, ang trapezium is a general quadrilateral. Four sides, let's say A, B, C, and D. So, you have opposite angles. You have this angle. You have A, B, C, and D. So, if you have this, uh, trapezium, so, meron tayong formula ginagamit para makuha natin yung kanyang area. So, area ng trapezium is equal to the square root of S minus A times S minus B times, we have S minus C times S minus D minus, you have A, B, C, D cosine squared theta. For in dito, ang theta natin is, we have angle theta, that is one half of the sum of your opposite angles. Kung ano lang given sa kanila, for example, given a BD, so B, B plus D all over 2. So B plus D all over 2. Or, let's say A plus C all over 2. So, yung S naman, that is what we call the semi-perimeter. So, ang semi-perimeter, i-add natin lahat ng side. A plus B plus C plus D all over 2. That is our S. So, direct lang yung computation niya. As long as you have two opposite sides and all the angles. So, what if naman diagonal ang given and say, for example, you have diagonals D1, D2. So, yung area... Pag given diagonal, you have 1 half d1 d2 sin theta. Wherein theta is the angle between the diagonals here. But here, theta is different. Let's say theta, let's say. So next we have the cyclic. Cyclic quadrilateral. So, ang cyclic quadrilateral is a quadrilateral form na ang vertex niya is yung nasa circle. For example, you have a circle. For example, you have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, i-connect mo lang yun. So, nabuo siya by the vertex ng uh, quadrilateral is nasa surface ng circle. Here, for example, you have A, side A, B, C, and D. So, ano yung area niya? Kung cyclic quadrilateral siya. Kung cyclic quadrilateral, ang area is given by we have square root of S minus A times S minus B times S minus C times S minus D. So, yun na yun. So, yung semi-perimeter given by A plus B plus C plus D all over 2. So, proceed tayo sa circle. So, ang circle is formed by rotating a line constant at a constant radius. Yung circle natin, yung parts niya is, you have the, say, a center from the surface that radius is rotated and you form a circle. It's a radius. And the full, you have the diameter. So, the diameter is 2 times your radius. So, area ng circle, I derive yan using differential calculus. You have pi r squared. Or if d is equal to 2r, therefore, r is equal to d over 2. So, substituting there, kuha natin is 
pi d squared over 4. So what about yung circumference niya? Circumference ng circle. So the circumference of the circle is given by you have 2 pi r. Or since 2 r is d, you have pi d. Example, we have circle, so you have the radius, so that's the, ten the distance from the center to the, to the circle, so that is our radius, so you also have the tangent, so, so this is the radius, so this line is a, if this line forms a right angle with the radius, that is what we call the tangent. Tangent of a circle. So you pass a line, a segment of a line to a circle. So this line is what we call a chord. Okay. And extending your radius to the other side of the circle, that length is what we call the the diameter so you have the diameter then if you form if you form a line cutting a circle in the two places for example you have this line so you cut the line into two places you have this and you have this this here and you have this so this line is what we call the second so that's the second of a circle so the only difference between the second and the chord is that the second is extended outside the circle while in yung chord is nandito lang siya the surface ng the gilid ng circle so then so mayroon din tayong tinatawag na arc so, the length of the circle between two points in the circle or between two radii. So, this is the arc. For example, you have here. So, let's say you have, you draw two radius. So, radius, radius. And the length of that strip here is what we call the arc. Arc of a circle. And we, we can find that length of the arc using the circumference okay and here if the circumference of the circle is 2 pi r so the length of the arc is being described by this central angle so this angle is in reference with 360 degrees so meaning the length of the arc s say the length of the arc is s say the length of the arc so this an arc S, the angle, is given by you have, you have 2 pi r times you have theta over 360 degrees. So this is the formula for finding the arc. If your angle is in degrees. So basically, you have the circumference and you ratio in proportion the angle. So in other books, you have the formula for finding the arc that is r theta. So arc is r theta. Or in theta here is in radians. 